Welcome to the kitchen this very fine Wednesday. The phone lines are open, which must mean it's a culinary hotline bling! That was me. That was me. I got tongue tied because I just got the smell of this cake. It's a culinary hotline bling! Now, before I get too distracted by this amazing cake, let me tell you if you're looking for inspiration, this is the place. Lemise Abrams is in the kitchen this morning. Good morning, Claire. You, I can't, I can't, I actually, I, I'm, I'm gonna block you on social media. Why? I'm trying to lose weight, but your social media account, oh my goodness, yeah, Instagram. Why I can't lose weight. No, oh, Insta <laughs> your Instagram is filled with the most amazing desserts, and it is such a treat every time we get you in the kitchen, especially mm -hmm. now, because people are looking for that inspiration. Yeah. So you're gonna be taking. Eat it around the corner. Literally, literally. Yeah. And you're gonna be taking us through three amazing desserts this yes. morning. Oh, I'm so tempted, South Africa. I haven't had sugar in, like, I can't tell you how long. And the smell of this is just, ah! Oh, I'm going to actually have some sugar this morning. Having it, having it. If you have any questions, or if you want to let us know what you're doing this eat, let us know on our WhatsApp number, 063-408-8863. Send us a voice note. We will be reading them out and playing them out live this morning. Now, Lemise, this temptation that is in front of me, yeah. that has got a combination of some of my most nostalgic ingredients and most... I can't explain to you how much I love mango and passion fruit mm -hmm. together. It is doing things to me this morning. What are we making? Okay, so today we're making a mango and passion fruit charlotte. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. let's start cooking because the very first question, what is a charlotte? So a charlotte is a French mold cake. Mm -hmm. So it basically comprises of ladyfingers, which you can make yourself. But if you don't have time, the boudoir biscuits work yes, perfectly fine because they're just light. They're just as light and airy, and they just work perfectly with uh, the charlotte it as well. Does okay, so let's we know get, we need to save time. We so. do need to save time, so let's get cracking. Yes. I'm just going to find out there. Can you see what's happening inside the cake? Let me just tip it down a little bit for you. There we oh, go. We're still going to okay. decorate it. It's so going to get. Look it's going to get a lot fancier. Yes. There we go. That's the word fancier. Fine. Ooh, you see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so we're going to start okay. off with. Okay, first we're going to do our boudoir biscuits. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that to you. Yes. So what you can do, you, you need a spring foam tin. Mm -hmm. Place it on your serving dish, whatever you want to, you know, present your, your dish on. And then we're going to take our boudoir biscuits. I like how you said if you, if you have time, you can make these. I have never. Never? They're very easy. Actually, no, I lie. In, in, in chef school, first year, we made mm -hmm. them. And I think that was the lesson that we learned that day was just buy it. It is a lot of fun to make. <laughs> But yeah. buying it is so much easier. Yeah. And it's so nostalgic. We actually had, I think it was Zoe in the kitchen earlier saying, yeah. it reminds her of, of her childhood. Of her childhood. There we go. Yeah, so I good. think all the moms gave the kids these when they were little. Okay, so is that what I'm doing? I nearly put yes. into it. Okay, so what no. I'm doing? So all I'm doing is I'm stacking them. I was them. looking for the knife, but all you do is just mm -hmm. cut the tip just so that it's nice and straight because the, the edges are rounded. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just cut the tip and then we'll just place them I see we've got all some around the edge. Yes, I've already trimmed them. Okay, we've already them. trimmed them. And so we, what's essentially holding it up right now? Nothing. It's the flat surface. They're just balancing. They're balancing. That's correct. But once okay. we add our filling, they will be stable. Okay. So at home, what you're going to do again, just to get that balance, you're going to just slice the last little bit off to give That's you a right. firm base so it can stand up straight. That's all you're doing. So we're good. Okay. okay. So I was supposed to be so doing this. So you're going to do that. So yes. Okay. You do your job. And then we're basically going to add some whipped cream to mm -hmm. cream cheese, mascarpone, and icing sugar. So, so that's going to be our filling. I like. So it's a nice creamy, creamy ask. texture. So it's almost like a tiramisu because it yes. has the mascarpone. It's but it also has the But we're not baking it. Cheese. We're not baking no, it. No, no I love baking. about this, just like a tiramisu, we don't bake it. No. Which is, I love, I mean, to be honest with you, I love sweet things. I think I've made that very obvious. Yes. I'm not the biggest baker. When I do bake, I like recipes that are simple. Exactly. And come together pretty easily. Yes. And that's a lot, that's your, what is your philosophy? Because I get a, that energy a lot from your bakers. Yeah, no, I like to make things easy, you know, simple mm. and easy because I, I love when people present beautiful things and I love how they recreate my, my recipes and it brings me so much joy. And making things easier is just, you know, a bonus because then everyone can do it. Right, I yeah. agree. Like this recipe. Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to go and get my knife because I need the knife. Stay. Okay, so okay. I'm just going to okay. whip this. Okay. So I would definitely recommend using a little serrated knife at home because it's going to yes. make your life so much easier. They've given me a shape knife, but let's see what happens. Whoa! 
Okay, <laughs> so once we get all of these to the side and we fill it with the filling, that's going to actually hold all of these in place. That's right. Okay, so I'm not going to fuss too much about that right now. Mm -hmm. um, because we're not baking it and because we're using a lot of dairy, is this a dessert you'd say it's best made ahead of time? Oh, and how far ahead of that, time? That's why I also chose this dessert, because you could make it two days in advance. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, there's no stress of preparing it the day before Eid, so you have more time to focus on food. You know, because oh, yeah. that's huge for us. We like to spend time, more time on our food. And I've also <laughs> noticed the amount of effort that goes into the decor on the day. There's a yes. lot of effort. So oh, if you're busy yes. with And you know you food. want to do your whole table setting and your flowers, so... There we go. Oh, oh, so you, this will help you save some time. Do you do that as well at home? Is that your job? Yeah, it is. You're busy then on the day. Yeah. Guys, No, but my mom, my mom cooks, so at least okay. I don't have to cook. We will bring this together once we add the filling. <laughs> okay, so the filling's looking good, and yeah. then when so do we start we adding add, all our flavors? We add a little bit of passion fruit just to give it some extra flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then... And does the mango go on top? That's right, the mango's gonna go on top, so... Perfect. Okay, so, do we even attempt to put this in here? Let's try. Yeah, we Let's can. Let's see, okay, so... No, but first we're gonna add a layer of biscuits to at the, the bottom. bottom as well. That's right. That's our base. You could even make mini ones, right? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I think the little mini chiffons would be like, would be really oh, they're cute. they're gorgeous. Okay. Because I'm glad, you know what? I'm These glad it's not just me. These are not behaving today. I couldn't get the soldiers to stand up straight. It's not just me. <laughs> you know what? This is where we fast forward and we go. Yes. Here's one. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here's one where we've got our base, biscuit base, and the biscuits inside, and we've added the the, the filling to it. Yeah. And this goes to the fridge, and we decorate just before serving. So, yes. do we still have time to let Lamise decorate this beautiful cake? We do. Here we go. Okay, Lamise, it's the all mango. you. This is not me. I don't want to oh, do this because I want to okay. see how these beautiful creations come together. Okay, so we just add the pulp of the granad some granadella pulp on top. Let's just give it some nice texture with the seeds and some color. And by the and way, then... if you want this recipe at home, go and check it out on EspressoShow.com. And, Lamise, so your Instagram mango. handle is? Just Baked. Just Baked. Go and check it out right now. Favorite it is so, so good. Meringue's going on the top. Yes. Isn't it so nice that you can actually buy meringues oh, now? Oh, the best. I can imagine, like, it's having to... Best. Well, imagine, I do remember having to... To make them from yeah. scratch, yeah, I know. Yeah. But they do taste the best, though. When, they, when they're homemade? Yeah, no, Absolutely, definitely. I get it. Yeah. I mean, even though I say I'm not the biggest baker, I did work in pastry section for two oh. years. Okay. So I appreciate the finer details and amount of effort that goes into presenting a cake. Oh my goodness, yes. it looks so good. Yep, there you go. Oh. Are you getting a view? Are you seeing that? Is that happening? Oh my goodness. That. Oh, and of course, just to ah, finish it off. Eid Mubarak. Don't forget to send us all your questions or let us know what you're doing this Eid. Send and a nice a... little bow just yes! to touch because it's special, a nice gold ribbon. There we go. So send us your voice at 063 oh Lemise isn't going anyway. We've got two more delicious recipes coming up <laughs> on the culinary hotline bling! Ding, ding, ding. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back, and we're back into the kitchen with another installment of the Culinary Hotline Bling! Ding, 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 ding. Ding. We have a beautiful mango and passion fruit chiffon cake done, and Lamise is still with us. And Lamise, what are we making now? Now we are making a hazelnut chocolate dessert cup. All the tempting things. <laughs> this looks, not a lot of ingredients, which no, I'm happy it's, about. It's very simple. Okay, cool. So, what do Everything we start Everything you with? basically have in your kitchen. Can I buy the, the, the cupcakes? Yes. Look at me just looking for hacks. Okay, but yes, then it really becomes easy because we're using the yeah. cupcakes to create... The base. The base, okay. Yes. Let's swap, because I know that okay. I'm going to be working on the base. So I've got our beautiful chocolate cupcakes, chocolate mm -hmm. chip... Ah, oh, sugar. Mm. Okay, so how do we, how are we going to... So just chop it up. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Okay. And then we just put it into our... I'm a, like, into I feel our like, just chop, chop. That's it. That's okay. It. That's it. And then yep. to the bottom of the base. That's it. And how much are we looking for? Are we going to yeah, compact like it? Yeah, like half a... Yeah, we, we can, or you can just leave it like that. Perfect. Depends on how like you want Just like that, nice and rustic. Yes. Okay, and then the filling, what goes into the filling that okay, we're making? Okay, so our filling is basically cream, a hazelnut spread, and a little bit of icing sugar. That's yes! It. Yeah, so it's like a, a hazelnut mousse. 
Absolutely. Yeah. I'm thinking like not just for eat. Like this is a nice little thing if you get like a, a weekend or oh, bride. I was gonna or... say a sweet craving before. We, we make it pretty with the flowers and we make it extra fancy with topping some um, lint balls on top. Oh of yes. Things, you know? Okay. So I'm gonna do our filling. So first I'm gonna add our icing sugar to our cream, which you already whipped, and then our hazelnut spread. Thank you for saying I already whipped it. I did not. <laughs> Someone else did, but did a good job. Tell me about yes. the, on, on Eid itself, on the day. Yeah. What's the what's a day like in your house? Oh, it's it's quite busy. So usually I'm obviously first you make you have some breakfast, mm. you know, lots of pies in the oven and you know nice fruit platter, something simple, and then because we we have a big lunch. So, okay. Yeah, we don't want to have too much to it at breakfast, and then... When you say big lunch, are you talking a lot of I'm people or a lot of food? A lot of food. Okay. And a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. And, and like, you're not making everything, because you've got to leave some no. stuff for the aunties that have their signature yes. items. So what are some yes. of the signature items that always feature on the table? Okay, so you have to have the leg of lamb, and you have yes. to have um, a curry. Uh-huh. And obviously a biryani or an acne, and obviously some prawns. <laughs> and then obviously when it comes to the sweet stuff, that's my department. So my mom does the cooking okay. and I'll do all the sweet stuff. So it's obviously a trifle. You gotta have a trifle. You gotta have a baked cheesecake. Uh -huh. You have to have a pavlova. A pavlova? Okay. Yes. Yeah. But is it a lot and of pressure? Like... Some, we have to have a mousse. And you know? it's, because it's you, is it a lot, a lot of pressure yes. like this is gonna be the best? Yes, spread I do feel a bit of, of pressure. Yeah. But you deliver every year. <laughs> I do. You do. Okay, Hello. so. Okay, I've got crumbs. That's Chef's treat. I'm going to come over here. Okay. Because I'm going to toast some nuts for you, right? And that's yes. the hazelnuts. Yes, that's right. Let me come back and to then my. We're also going to top it with a ganache. The mousse is mm. going to be topped with a ganache, which we've just heated. The cream. So it's just warm cream. And On top need. of some chocolate. And then we'll just give it a. Let it sit for a little bit. And, and I've got some hazelnuts, stir. right? Hazelnuts. Yes. They've just been chopped. Um, so I'm going to so toast And so you're just going to toast them just to give it that extra, that extra goodness. Nuttiness and extra crunch. I love exactly. that. Okay. So this is the part where you don't walk away at home. No. Because nuts burn very quickly because the oil's inside them. Um, I also keep my nuts in the fridge now. Okay. Because of the fact that it's oil-based. Like there's oil in the nuts. I don't want the oils to go rancid. I just keep everything in the fridge. And I found that the nuts actually last a lot longer. Okay. Okay, That's a cool. good tip. And it's smelling nutty. Mm. This is such a simple recipe. And the mousse that comes together so quickly. Yes, it does. Okay. All right, we're almost there. We just need our ganache. And this is another one you can make ahead of time? Yep. Absolutely. And you could do a big one. You could. Okay. A big one or mini ones, whatever you prefer. Waiting for these nasty toasts. Okay, so then we just... Top it with the ganache, like that. I know that you do, you, you're the goddess of baking in the family <laughs> and for South Africa. When it comes to savory foods, who yeah. handles that? My mom. And at home? Oh, no, I, be I cook too. Yeah. But I mean, I'm, I'm imagining you're equally as talented when it comes to savory foods. Yeah, food. I can basically cook anything. <laughs> I, I think it's just uh, genetics, you know? There we go. And when it comes to savory food, I'm going to ask you all the savory questions. I'm sure you get all the I dessert you're questions. I'm very hungry today. You know, you know. <laughs> okay, when it comes to savory food, what's your go-to? What's your absolute must? What's something that doesn't matter what diet you're on? When you see it, crayfish get curry. it. Crayfish curry. Or prawn curry. Anything with crayfish and prawns. And again, like you said, that's something that you can execute perfectly? No. No? No, no, no. no. Not so crayfish job curry. Is that? that's, that's my mom. My mom okay. has to do oh, that. I love a crayfish curry. Yeah, I know. She has to do that. Okay. So, we're getting some... These nuts do not want to toast. What's up? No, they're I know, it's so fine. weird. OK, we're going to leave them. We're going to keep an eye on it. There we go. But this is looking amazing. And the, the, no, but we need them now. Yeah, we do? <laughs> OK. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's pretend the nuts are looking toasty. Yeah, and they're, they're nice and brown. Can I pop it in that bowl for you? OK, let's go. Uh, there we go. OK. Mm. They smell nice and roasted. They do. So then we just top a little bit of the nuts, just to give it that nice extra crunch. If you did the workout Graham Richards did this morning, he was stepping like, oh! Yeah, I think Graham can eat this now, with no four. guilt. He can have all four the weather that man was stepping this morning. <laughs> and oh. then we just top it with a little bit of fresh cream. 
and a little bit of, oh, okay, still a bit warm. But then we'll add oh, yeah, the ganache. And so yeah. the ganache, you will at home, let it cool down before you start. Yes, obviously. We'll add that layer, cool. which will preserve your cream. Yeah. I don't know. I got a thing about hot and cold. I think it's going to be delicious. I would <laughs> sacrifice aesthetics for flavor. <laughs> Young Graham, step into the kitchen. Can we give Graham a hand? Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's my perfect yeah, like, lead in when you, when you sacrifice aesthetics. For flavour. For flavour. Then I know, okay, it's my turn. It's Let my me. Turn. I, actually got a, I actually got a spoon for G in this oh, you drawer. Got one. He has a special These spoon. These look, oh. I don't know what aesthetics you've sacrificed, but I'm not seeing any sacrifice here. These look exquisite. Absolutely beautiful. So right. Where, is there a process? Is there like a, 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 a way? Deep, Just go, deep, like, deep. go. Dig deep yeah. within yourself. So I'm going to get some of the... All the layers. Oh, what are these layers? So we've got a chocolate, chocolate um, cake base. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a hazelnut mousse, a chocolate ganache, and a fresh cream topping. I can't take any of the credit. It wasn't. Oh, and me. some hazelnuts. And some toasted mm. hazelnuts. Yeah. Oh! As an afterthought, that is, <laughs> it sings. And there is a lot going on there. So there, mm. I, I think the danger of that being overwhelming or too much, but it hits it perfectly. Yay. Wow. At home, when you make this, hide one of these away. And then when all I the guests too. have gone home and it's about 11 <laughs> o'clock at night, you whip this bad boy out and you sit on the couch oh, and nice. you just enjoy it. Oh, this mm. is such a delicious dessert. Again, go and get this recipe on expressoshow.com. Lumise isn't going anywhere. What's our last recipe? Our last recipe is a, bis a, sorry, a strawberry spiced cookie cheesecake. Sounds delicious. Yeah. Don't go anyway. We'll be right back. It's my feel good breakfast show. Back in the kitchen with our final recipe for the culinary hotline bling. Ding, ding, ding. Now this morning we've seen two stellar, ultra delicious desserts already come out of the kitchen, and now yeah. we're making another eat essential, a cheesecake. And Lamise, you're going to talk me through this. This looks yes. amazing, but once again, not a lot of ingredients happening. Yeah, and no baking involved once and, again. Uh, nice, nice. Okay, so we've <laughs> so got. So it's uh, a fridge cheesecake. It's a fridge cheesecake. Yeah. And the thing is. People can get very iffy about like baked versus fridge, and they go, "That's not a cheesecake." Both. It's the same. It's, it's, yeah, it's same name, two different is... things. Love them both. Love them both. Absolutely, especially yeah. when you get that sweet craving and need it like soon, soon. Yeah. This is a good one. Yeah, so we've got cake our cake. base happening already. Yes. What did you use so, for our base? This is a spiced cookie. So mm -hmm. we're just gonna we crumbled it up, and then we're gonna add some butter. But you can kind of use whatever biscuit you want for this part, right? Yeah, you can. You can just use normal tennis biscuits. If you don't have any, you know, of those cookies mm -hmm. on hand. Okay, and then all you're doing is adding melted butter until it looks, looks like wet mm -hmm. sea sand, beach sand. And then I feel yes. sorry for the guys in Joe, but go, what does that look like? <laughs> um, um, just play sand, like, like wet yeah. play sand. There we go. Okay, so. so what we're going to do today, we're going to make a crescent moon shape mm -hmm. to represent Eid, you know. Um, and it's really simple. All you need is your spring foam tin and you're going to take just a small bowl. You're going to place it along the side of the bowl. But don't start yet. Oh. I've got a question. Okay. okay, so spring foam tins, right? Two parts. Yeah. It's your base and it's the part that holds it all together. Yes. What do we call it? I don't know. So, okay, I don't know why I have two here. Anyway. <laughs> Okay. We, there's there's a lip. So what I say, the base kind of looks like a saucer, either that has mm -hmm. a lip or it's got the flat bottom yes. like this. How do you put your base into a spring form tin? Like a saucer mm, with a lip I up? I know. That, that I'm asking a... you because you're the professional. Well, but what works for you? Do you know what I actually do is I usually just put it on the tray that I'm using mm -hmm. because what so you want to do... So I don't even... You don't need to use the base because... You're going to take this off anyway, okay. and then it's already on the tray. So it makes it so serving. easier for you. Yeah. Actually, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And when you do bake a cake, what is your preferred way of putting the base in? Oh, well, if I do, then I would rather do it this way. The flat side. The flat, the flat side. side. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Obviously, my well, thinking... that's for a baked one, obviously. That's for a baked yeah. one. Obviously, my thinking is when it's baked, it's a little bit of a lip. You have to work yes. with the lip to get it off. Yes. So it's always go upside down for, yes. for a baked cake. And it's flat. Because I do see people doing it both ways, and I'm yeah. like confused. What is the correct way? And according to me, your way, whatever you do, is going to be... Do you like that way? I love your way. I love your way. <laughs> now I broke it. No, uh, it's fine. Well, it's fine. Are we we, we, need we it? don't even need this anymore. Now I understand why they're Not two. if we're doing the fridge. I'm right. sorry. Okay, so 
base yeah. in, and then you've got the, you've got a little cup that just yes. basically fits in to create that shape. Just to create a crescent shape, and then we're going to just pop this in. Not so quiet because I was focusing so heavily. <laughs> Okay, perfect. That's amazing. Yeah. So what it does, I'm gonna I'm gonna give an example of what it actually does. I'm fast forwarding now. Let me get this out the way. So the ball goes in. Yep. And you put the base in, and we're gonna still work on the filling, but it gives you the crescent shape. That yeah. is amazing. Okay, cool. Base done. Now okay. let's start talking about our filling. Right. So our filling is just cream cheese, icing sugar, and whipped cream. Okay. And a little bit of vanilla extract. So or vanilla amazing. essence, if you have, and then we're gonna. Chop up some strawberries if you don't mind doing that's that. That's me. For us. That's me. Yes. And so I like. Get busy uh, on this. We've had Graham in the kitchen already for a little taste test. Yes. Um, I'm always trying to stay in people's good books <laughs> in the studio because I'm I actually catch on a lot of nonsense. So I'm going to call our floor director Lucian Albertini in a minute oh so you can goodness. you can go and get mic'd up because man loves coming to the kitchen and you'll <laughs> and he loves shy. To eat. They'll be like, stop calling me to the kitchen and then they'll pose. <laughs> So, Lucia, if you can get Mike us along, I'm going to let you come into the kitchen. We love pulling me inside. I do, time. I do. If you guys haven't seen Lucian's episode of Making Cupcakes last week, go and check it out on YouTube. Stella, Stella. Mm. If we don't win a SAFTA for that, I'm done. Okay, so Lucian, <laughs> talk to me about desserts. Do you have a sweet tooth? Yes, I do. Do you have a... I'm more of a savory person than sweet, being a sweet tooth, so... Mm. And I'm enjoying this. So, mm. are you uh, more of a fruit, when it comes to desserts, are you more fruit-based? Would you go for our chiffon? Or are you more like chocolate type Chocolate, guys? So you would have gone for our second dessert. Which yes, was I already stole Graham's um, one. Leftovers. We don't, like, we don't have germs in, in the TV world, <laughs> so we just share each other's thing, stuff. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so Lucian, we're, gonna, we're busy making a fridge set cheesecake for you now. Um, well, I didn't notice, I didn't yeah, notice. Yeah, you didn't notice? Okay, well, that's what we're doing. <laughs> and we're topping it with strawberries. Did I do a good job? You went in half. Okay, yeah, I've got some more for you. So up. we've got some strawberries for you. What I want to do is I want you to actually taste the... I want you to taste the chocolate dessert because you said you like chocolate so much. But now, the people didn't see, Lucian. The people didn't see, it never happened. Okay. So I'm going to get you a spoon. Here we go. Give me stand on the corner. And I want you to give us your most detailed breakdown of the dish. Okay, go. Flavors, textures, what are you feeling? Wow. Okay. okay. So pretend you haven't tasted it yet. Oh, they, now the, the producer saying, can you please play that music? Let's see if we can get... <laughs> and he says he's shy. He says he's shy. I mm, know so, another one. Okay, so Lucia, talk to me. So what you've got now, we've got that chocolate base, the chocolate... Cupcake My mother's cream. watching now. Uh -oh. <laughs> Mrs. Albertine, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So, we've got the chocolate base, okay? Chocolate mousse. Chocolate ganache. Hazelnut mousse. Cream. And wow. then we've got the lip ball on top. Okay, so talk to me about the flavors. Because you saw us make this on TV, and this came together like in record time. With the yeah, cream, the chocolate, the nuts, and everything that comes together, and the mousse. Mm -hmm. It's an explosion. It's so, so good. And I will, you know what? I'm taking the whole thing. You take the whole thing. It's and a win. Mm. Where can people get the recipe? <laughs> <laughs> the recipe at expensive.com. You know, there you, you know. Lucian Albertine, can we give Lucian a hand? <laughs> because he's shy. Thank you, Lucian. You have your golden spoon, you have your mic, and you have your chocolate. You deserve it. Have I'm a lovely not, day, not, Lucian. Okay. okay, so while Lucian was just doing that cake, the cheesecake came together. So, yes. strawberries go on top. Strawberries go on top, and then you also just sprinkle some of your spicy cookies on top, mm -hmm. just to give it that extra crunch as well. And the, the, I see we've got caramel. Does that go on the top of? No, this is our spicy spread. Ooh. So, so then we're going to add another layer of the cheesecake yeah. mixture. Okay. And then we're going to pop that in the fridge to set overnight. And please do set it overnight. The texture changes so much when you do set a fridge cheesecake overnight yeah. compared to when you rush it. This one, I, I, this one can still go to the fridge for a little bit longer. I can see it's a mm. little bit wobbly, but we're going to use our imagination. Oh, yeah, it okay. Is. Okay. We're going to pretend. Anyway. We're going to pretend. So you've got the spiced sauce. Yes. A spicy sauce. So basically, just take your spatula. Mm -hmm. And then this is what we're going to move our bowl. Just to loosen it. Yes. Let me get you a lappi. It's coming. A lappi is coming. Here we go. Napkins. Got a napkin over here. This looks so delicious. Oh. 
Yes. Yes. So. And now the bowl comes out. And then the bowl comes out. Please don't out. serve it with the bowl in the thing. <laughs> just saying. Okay. Oh, look at that. And then we're just going to smooth it out a little bit. This looks so good. And then we basically take our, our spicy spread. Tell us about we... the spicy spread. It's like flavours of cinnamon and caramel. Mm -hmm. Let me grab a spoon real quick. And then, so do you make that from scratch? No, you can buy it at the store. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Mm. Look at me not knowing where. <laughs> My tasting spoon. Oh, we'll okay. put in the recipe which um, spread it is. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> Wow, sugar. Mmm! Yeah. That tastes so good. It tastes toasty and spicy, nutty. And it's in my mouth now, like peanut butter. It does taste really good. They're making fun of my tasting spoon, the mies. What? Yeah, I love it. When, when chefs taste with like a little teaspoon, what are you tasting? What are you tasting? No. Yes, no, you need a big This spoon. is the espresso official tasting spoon. Done. Okay. Okay. The mies, that's that caramel. Biscuity, nutty, spicy sauce is so delicious. Okay. Oh, okay. You know what? <laughs> Blame it on Carl Wastey. He's not even here. It's his fault. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Our spread is not spreading as nicely as I would have And that's why liked. at home, please do make sure you set your cheesecake overnight. Yeah. You know what, Lemise? It's... I am going to get into this with one anyway. with tasting spoon. It is going to be so good. Oh, my goodness. What so. I do think we should do is also slice into our chiffon. Is that should we do it? No, you have to. You see okay. all those beautiful layers. Okay, let me get it. Ooh. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna start taking off and getting ready for this. Please don't forget to take off your blue your, bow. Your little ribbon. Let me cut it. Can you, can you actually cut it? I'm like, I don't want to like, destroy this beautiful creation. Sure. It is so beautiful. Okay. Do we have a plate? I'm going to just use this for a second. Oh, here we go. I'm actually going to put the whole slice on here. Oh! Okay. If I can get it out. My goodness. Here we go. You definitely came back on. Tasting spoon. Nice. Tasting spoon is back. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a big spoon. I'm going to invite whoever, whoever, Graham, Zoe, <laughs> if you're nearby, come to the kitchen, but make sure you grab a spoon when you come in on the drawer on the far end. Who's here? Where you come? Graham and Zoe, we please make your way to the kitchen. Mmm. Mmm. That is so light. The it's lightness so is the light. first thing that you get. Yeah. And then the flavor. The passion fruit, the acidity is just right. Yeah, it, goes, it is so mixes delicious. Well, with the creamy. Mm. The sweet cream. Let me invite the usual suspects into the kitchen. Yes. Graham Richards. Sorry, Brian, do you have your spoons? See, we're, we're not we going to sacrifice the aesthetics this time, my no. friend. I brought you know, along a special friend. Even the means is in studio <laughs> and she bakes for us. I understand why her Instagram handle oh, is just buddy. fake because it's, it's delicious. Just fake. Ooh, okay, so let me give Show you the options. Show everyone inside. What you, you're, you're, like. you're on another planet now. That was that was quite an, uh, a highly pitched, <laughs> effeminate little squeaky. Look here, yeah, the sugar. Yeah. Again, like I said, I had a sugar the longest time. That was amazing. <laughs> so Lemise has made the most amazing, delicious desserts. Wow. We have a beautiful chiffon cake, which has got mango and passion fruit Ooh. in it. We've got a chocolate... Oh, what, would, would you say a trifle? It's not a trifle. A cup. Chocolate Don't, cup. No. Yeah, it, it feels, a like, a a, it feels like you understand. A dessert mm. cup. Yeah, but that still undersells it. I'm sorry. It's, it's just it's something delightful. Too it's spectacular. delightful. And then, because we didn't set our cheesecake enough in the fridge, but okay. I tasted mm. elements of it and it is so, so Amazing. good breaking things. Bam. So, Zoe, you can absolutely taste whatever you like. G, same for you. You can even go back to the chocolate if you can, want. Can I, are we allowed to oh, taste the... Yeah, yeah. I'm a lover of cheesecake and I don't mind that it hasn't Set. I will. I would eat this whole you thing. Need this. See, I Come like this off. vibe of the cheesecake. I like it to be kind of you know the fridgy type <laughs> feel. Yes. Like that's my my vibe. Okay, what okay. side are you going in? I'm going to go here on this okay, corner. There's it. something about the the crust. crust. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Let's okay, get that music that? going. No, no okay. music for me. <laughs> 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 I'm married woman. I can't have the music anymore. Graham goes first. Uh, okay, Graham. And, and luckily, Linz just knows me to be a complete fool, so it's OK. <laughs> oh. Don't zoom too much. You need to see his hips. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
You earned it. You earned it. All those steps you put in this mm. morning. Wow. No, but you got to try this one. <laughs> Here we go. Slow down. Slow down. We're just going to make you dance today, Graham. Oh, my this word. One's my fave. Mm. Uh, Let's it's, get... It's the balance. Oh, it's yeah. just the beautiful. balance it that I don't have when I dance that you do have when you <laughs> create flavours. Uh, OK, again, now, you make it impossible to take the first bite because there is just so much... So you need wow. to take the biggest mouthful, I think, to tell everyone... And then, and then we'll go into an ad break. That we'll finish gigantic. with you. How's that? Just, did it look that big when I kind of put my spoon in there? You got I don't the know. whole I've got to do it, eh? I've got to mm. do it. Go oh, for it. Come on. Get, give him no, the we music. Can do this. We can do this, man. <laughs> OK. Oh. Really? No. Stop. No. OK. <laughs> we can do this. Together, we can do anything. <laughs> oh. 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 Now, tell everyone we're going to an ad break and we'll be right back. I oh, know, it gets steamy. <laughs> <laughs> um, didn't you get our April Fools? We do actually express ourselves through interpretational dance. Oh, That's wow. what we do, man. That's okay. how we run the show. OK, here's the thing. It might have felt like a TV bite or looked like it, but the second it goes into your mouth, everything just melts mm, together. Yeah. Absolutely exquisite. Wow. Mm. Oh, listen, we will be right back. Lamise, thank you so much for joining us today. It's thank always a treat having, having you here. And we've got more delicious recipes still on its way, but if you <sighs> want to get any of these recipes, it will be available at expressoshow.com.